going to be here testing out this pH water tester. What you get here is you get here a little tool that you can use to touch, test the pH levels in fish tanks, drinking water, bottled water, tap water, any water you want to test the pH levels to find out if it's neutral, if it's acidic, or if it's alkaline. This is a pH tester for that. So just to show you what you get here, it's a simple yellow device tester. It has two buttons on it. One's a calibration button. The other is the you know power button to turn it on. You dip this part of the tester in the water itself to test the pH levels, and it has a cap to cover it for when you're done. Now, the tester kit does come with three different pH calibration packets, so you would mix and stir these in water. You make sure you use separate cups so they don't contaminate each other, but this is how you would calibrate it if you need to calibrate it to detect the various pH levels, low for acidic or mid-range or high alkaline. So you have the instructions here on how to use it, the specifications, the range method, and the level of accuracy that it has. Pretty easy to use. We're going to go ahead and test my tap water and compare it to this refreshed drinking water. So the first thing we're going to do is start filling up the cups with water. And first, this is the tap water. And again, I just took this right out of my sink. Don't fill it up too much. You only want it to go to the tester part. You don't want it to go too high up on the tester tool. Press the on button and then stick it in the water. Now it wants to just stir it around a little bit before you set it. So I'm stirring around while it's working on the readings. You can see my tap water is just above neutral. It's coming in somewhere between 7.3, 7.4. Let's see if it stabilizes here. About 7.4, 7.6, 7.48. So about 7.48 is for my tap water. Oh, there we go, 7.51. Kind of bounce between 7.2 and 7.4. Now I'm going to draft the tester, and then I'm going to test the purified drinking water. Again, this is just refresh purified drinking water, and we'll go see what the pH level is of this. Start around, see what we can come back with here. Surround over here. Now again, it's not uncommon to see Purified water will always usually come in at a lower pH than tap water. Tap water pH range is around 7.5. I was reading that's normal. Bottle drinking water is usually around 6.5 to 7 for purified drinking water. So you see right around here, the refresh uh, purified water is a pH level of about, looks like 6.19, 6.25 range. So slightly on the acetic, slightly under the base of 7 versus the tap water, which was slightly over the base of seven in line with the 7.5. So again, you can see how the pH tester works. It tests either your drinking water or fish tank water, but get the pH levels and find out how acidic or alkaline your water is. Works pretty well. You see it's stabilized here right around 605, 608. 